Brett, we're here. We have <laughs> actually, <is> technically, <laughs> technically, our very first guest co-host. So oh. yeah, you should be pretty excited about I am that. Excited. Yeah, because we literally just started, <laughs> and you're the first co-host. Hey, and for this very special. Uh, episode <clears throat> Sean is not here, so we are doing a new segment called Buck Sean. And that's right, you heard it first, ladies and gentlemen. Buck Sean, because he is not here, and I honestly don't even know or care where he is because I haven't even texted him because it'll probably take too long for him to get here. He may be still asleep, he may be at work. Who knows with this guy? Who fucking knows? He may still be at his grandma's house. His phone may still be dead. He may be texting his grandma from someone else's phone. Who fucking knows? <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. And it's life. And uh, so our guest co-host, go ahead and state your name and part this. My name is Tabitha. Hola. Como estas? My purpose here is just to... Uh, just to test this thing out i don't know <coughs> have fun all right yeah, and and vibes. okay but for our our viewers and listeners out there are millions and millions of the mikey versus sean fans Hi, millions of people um that we haven't actually made yet but we'll have one day um they want to know who exactly tabitha is and our Connection and relations. So go go ahead and give your spiel. I don't know. Well, we met very like plenty of years ago. Um, I would say I was like 15 years old, 16. We met, yeah, and then we dated, and then I left him. And I went. I flew away. I didn't leave him like that. It was a good. It was a good leave. I had to leave. You know, family taking me. To places, took took me to Texas. Yeah, and then um, we kept in contact. Um, he sent me a CD, or I, actually he gave me a CD, um, and then he actually made a song about me, and it was pretty pretty cool. Amazing. I felt a little nervous. I don't know why. Right now? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I know nobody's here. It's weird. It's natural. It's just because the microphone is, yeah, is in front thing. of you, and then and I feel like the this thing, thing is, is as soon as people. people see the microphone, they just all of a sudden are afraid of making a mistake, being afraid to judge, because they're like, oh, people are going to hear this. But, you know, i just like to remind all of our guests, co-hosts, and fans out there, if we don't like it, you won't fucking hear it. And that's just how it goes down. There it goes. I like so... That. Uh, me and Tabitha dated in uh, high school. She was a year older than me, so you know I was uh, big pimping. You know what I'm saying, wow. looking like a <laughs> a young baller in the game. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying, sophomore year, dating upperclassmen. You know what I'm saying, and yeah, we might as well just talk about that real quick because that, you know, like we said, we kind of talked about it last night. But like, when you're the guy. That's older than the girl you're dating younger is like a little different. It's like, okay. In high school, at least, you know, like, okay, maybe this guy really can get a girl his own age. What's up with this guy? He don't have no girls his age that like him, you know? There's no juniors or whatever year he is that he needs to date a sophomore or a freshman. And, you know, in two years in high school, the big difference, if you're a junior dating a freshman or a senior dating a freshman, that's kind of weird. You're just like, whoa. Like yeah. what you've been doing your whole four years, you know, but but on the other <laughs> flip coin side of that, it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. I was the sophomore dating upwards. Oh, she was yeah. a junior, you know what I'm saying? So that's a whole nother world. If you know about it, maybe you don't. I just want to let you know that you get mad props, and people respect that shit. They're like, oh shit. If it was a, if I was, yeah, if I was a sophomore dating a senior, oof, (laughs) whole high school career made that year, that easy. That's just how it is. High school back in the day, you know. This is before social media, before Instagram and people being on their fucking phones all fucking day, (laughs) every day. 
living two lives, living their real life and living their fake uh, whatever they want to present to the world life on social media. And some could say that's exactly what the fuck we're doing right now. We are just giving you whatever we want, whenever we want. And we are fucking millionaires, so just remember that. Oh, yeah, I forgot to yeah. tell you that. I'm a millionaire. Yeah, she's... I'm just going to let you know right now. Pretty much half the co-guest hosts that will come on the show, guest co-hosts <laughs> that will come on the show are mostly millionaires. So we want to bring a lot of inspirational people to you guys. We want to motivate you guys, you know, help you get that courage and strength that you fucking need so bad to get your ass up in the morning just like she did today she got my ass up i was fucking i i like to snooze people i like to sleep i like to get my beauty sleep you know what i'm saying i set my alarms and then i tell alexa to snooze bitch alexa snooze and she's probably going to talk right now she's saying she's trying to respond alexa it's okay You guys heard that? Anyway. Yeah, Alexa's like getting excited over here. Yeah, her. she's getting like, every time you say her name, you're like, that's new child all of a sudden. Maybe you need a feature. Yeah. Oh, a that would be a fucking crazy ass segment. That's a great idea. Yeah. We just got a segment right there. I will guest <laughs> co-host uh, my Alexa <laughs> right here. Look, she's already trying to do an interview right now. She just can't wait. She's very excited. <laughs> And uh, that's fucking awesome. I'm glad we just got that idea. You see, this is the moments where magic happens. Yeah. You know, and you well, know, because and of this beauty rest. Yeah. It wasn't for and, it. And it is like 1:15 p.m. right now. And usually on a day off like this, I am not up until at least 2:33 oh, wow. p.m. because I am a night owl. What they call an owl in the night. Going. Ooh. Who? Who's up? Who's still up? Sean's up. Sean, come through. <laughs> and then we just start recording, doing crazy shit. So this anyway. is early for you then, being up this early. This waking up at twelve. Oh yes, noon this is was, yeah. Noon is. That's like noon is a goal. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted out there. <laughs> to be up <laughs> by noon, sometimes even in the AM, <laughs> is a goal. But it just doesn't happen that way. It just depends on how. How uh, how owly my night was, you know what I'm saying? If, I if I had a, a owly night, mm-hmm. I was being a little night owl on the prowl, <laughs> <laughs> looking for them cows, <laughs> looking who the dow. You never know. Trying to get that smell, <laughs> lay it down like towel. Anyway, let's just throw that in the fouls. Okay, I'm done. And uh, yeah. Yeah. before I yeah. just freestyle my heart away, uh, what are we talking about here? So, um. Let's just jump into the juicy shit, because I know you guys want to know who is this person and why the fuck are they here today? Why? 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 Why is she first? Why? Why could not be first? I know I'm going to get hate mail. Fuck y'all. I'm not reading this shit. I'm not going to fucking look at the shit, see it looks like you about to talk shit, not open it. All right? I'm only about love and good vibes, Yeah, y'all, exactly. So. And that's what we're I, about to get into. I we're about to get right into to our, our hardcore subject of the day, which is love and good vibes. Because Tabitha knows about love and good vibes from both uh, sides of the plate. Let's just put it that way. She is a <laughs> switch hitter. She plays for both teams. She will take a taco or a hot dog, depending on what she wants for lunch that day. You know what I'm saying? That is just how it goes down. And so, you know, we're just going to let <laughs> Tabitha just kind of open up her world a little bit about her her bisexual. Just, just kind of just, I guess, start from when you, like how you said last night, you had a girlfriend you, and she didn't think she was lesbian. You, we have a mutual friend that knew she was kind of had the little gaydar on her and she was the other girl but this was during the time when being openly gay was not really yeah. something you accepted or even um really? being convinced that you were gay was people didn't even want to be uh even if you were kind of gay you, you kind of kind of fought those feelings in a way i guess you can say like especially if you were a guy you're like 
Oh, hell no. You, especially if you're a black guy, you get your ass beat. That is not what happens. You, you can't, it's hard to be a black gay man in the day, back in the day. I mean, today it may be easier. I'm sure it's still hard, but you know what I'm saying? It's always hard out there for a pimp. You know what I'm saying? No matter who the hoes are, if they're male, female, trans, trans you know what I'm saying? So, okay, anyway, go ahead and yeah. uh, just start from... Uh, I'll start your realization or my realization was when I was actually I didn't there was no realization um, I think I had experiences before my time of knowing I was I lived with all girls in a group home so this this experience led me to have many experiences with girls and kissing them and it was just our way of learning and print and quotes like learning how to kiss so we, I did kiss about 20 girls I moved on with life and I thought that was that. And then, you know, I met this girl in high school here, 11th grade, and she was pretty cool. She was a nice friend and all. Nothing gay and or lesbian. And um, so time went on and, um, you know, uh, I had other experiences on accident, I guess you could say, with girls. And then I figured I kind of like it. So I took it. What do you mean by accident? That's just... Well, girls came on to me. Girls came on to me. And I was, like, kind of shy about it because I was, like, I'm not comfortable with being with a woman. Okay. So I'm, like, ay, ay, ay. And then um, a lot of girls were, like, trying to be about it. So I gave it a shot. A shot at uh, the taco. And, you know, and... Uh, it was, she it was did spicy. it all for the taco. It was spicy and nice. For the nookie, right? Yeah, but yeah. For that limp biscuit? So or was it a stiff biscuit? It, you know. Who knows, right? Who yeah, knows? Yeah, so what it was, though, <laughs> honestly, though, like my first times where the girl was usually on me, I don't know. I was very shy. And I kind of still am. But, um,. Uh, most of my relationships have been with women. To me, that's kind of weird. But um, I guess, like, you would just say I bat for both sides. I don't know, whatever. I guess you could say that. But I think um, time will tell who I end up with. I'm just going to put you right off right now. Mm -hmm. It sounds right boring. There. I sound boring. Everybody sounds boring mm -hmm. compared to me on this show. Mm -hmm. Even Sean. Because something's wrong. There is nothing wrong. <laughs> you're just too high. And you're talking too slow. And the viewers just had their cup of coffee. And they are up and they are running. And they are running errands and going to work and listening. I'm calming their soul down by my soothing, soothing, slow voice. I don't want to hear soothing right now. <laughs> Let's just be clear. But it's soothing. Opposite. We wanna know. We wanna know. Do you like the oh, dick no. or do you like the oh, pussy better? Let's just answer it right now. That's you can't answer that. Do I like it better? Cause there's certain things that us girls do to each other that guys can never do to a girl. So let's put it like that. And that is something if you do it the right way with the right just you know, I don't know. I can't compare. Maybe if I was with the guy that was doing it the right the right way, then yeah. You're so confused. Look at you. I wish y'all could see the look on my face. Because yeah. I asked one very simple question. I know, I know. Do you like the dick? <laughs> or do you like the pussy more? I don't care if it's 51%, 49. Oh 50.5%. 49.5. Which one do you like just a little bit more? Okay. <laughs> can I not say um, those words, those terms? You can say whatever terms you want. B is P, C, P, G. I don't care. Okay. P just uh, please answer the. Penis. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> You guys heard it here first. Breaking <laughs> news. Mm -mm. First, guest co-host. That's for both sides of the plate. But rather take that dick. She rather just pick up that bat and put it in there. You feel me? She is. I just like. 
she don't want the she, she saw that baseball glove and saw how beat up Taco and Tuesday's used up like, it like. was and she said fuck it oh. and she looked at that very nice polished bat that hard long wood and she said mm, that is more up oh. my alley <laughs> Wow. You know what I'm saying? You know this what I'm guy like? doesn't even know though. What he's, you don't even know. Hey, I'm just answering you. I mean, you, but I'm you just don't know. Clear. Yeah, it is about the penis. Okay. But it's it's something. Well, let's it's get not right into it. it. What about the penis about that makes you like it just a little and bit more? And you know, okay. It's not just the penis. It's the man's body. You know, they have a, a like a hard. You know, women are soft, which is nice. But then sometimes I don't want that softness. I want that, like, I want to be the soft one. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> He's smiling. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I do know what you mean. And I think a lot of people have just got a big smile on their face, just like myself, when they heard that. They're like, mm, I like the way she said that. I want to be the, mm. Okay, do. that was very convincing. Okay, go ahead. So, yeah. I'm on your side now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Team Bats. So yeah, so being in that See, Batman, being in that in that mindset, you know, it, it makes me feel a little bit different. So if, it makes my body kind of feel more relaxed because I feel more like a woman. So I feel like more. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, my okay, let's clear that be up because you're about to offend a bunch of Me Too women out oh, there no. and feminists. See, hey, what'd this you is say? why I didn't want to do this. Makes you feel more like a woman. Why, 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 why just, does the penis make you feel more? Not more. It, I feel more um, feminine. Okay. Feminine. Okay. okay. That's what I'm saying. All right. I like because that. Because when I'm with the woman, I just want to clear that up for you. Because I, I don't want people more like attacking you. Oh, they're they not ain't gonna, gonna attack, attack me. me. They're not gonna attack you <laughs> either. We no. got, we got. Tabitha Six Nine, this millionaire right here, living <laughs> on the hills, traveling the world. You don't even know. Mm-hmm. I wish you know me. Okay. Maybe you will know me. So yeah, once again on this show, the Mikey versus Sean show, oh, yeah, um, in Sean's this very here. special segment called Fuck Sean because he's not here <laughs> <laughs> with our guest co-host Tabitha Six Nine. <laughs> Because she claims no one can fuck with her. No one can touch her. She's untouchable in these streets. She's a millionaire. She's a self-made millionaire that bats for both sides of the plate. Or she could just be fucking trolling you. Isn't that crazy? This could be she, all yeah, the she, This could be... Remember when we were kind of... Me and Sean were talking about how <laughs> like, we can just call our gay friends. Or just pay some straight people to be gay or just pretend to be gay ourselves and you know there's so many angles maybe that's what just happened maybe we just staged all of this and that's the fucked up part because now everybody was like damn i got some real insight on some lesbian shit